And speaking of good stuff, uh, we have uh, Discover Central Massachusetts uh, and Stephanie Ramey, who, who is the new executive director of the organization. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, um, it, you're the new executive director, but you're not new to Discover Central Mass. Uh, and maybe you could share with our viewers sure. first um, what Discover Central Mass is uh, and your, your role. Absolutely. So Discover Central Mass is the Regional Tourism Bureau for Central Massachusetts. We cover the Worcester area and then 34 surrounding towns. So we go as far west as the Sturbridge area, cover parts of the Wachusett territory. Um, and our goal ultimately, it, it's, it's split almost in half. One side of it is to bring in events, meetings, conferences into the area, which obviously have a profound economic impact to our community. And then the other side is to promote the area as a premier destination for visitors and families to come and spend time and also to residents. And, and uh, in that role, you, uh, you've worked at a few different positions, now the executive director for a couple months now and prior to that, you were out making the case, yes. making the sales. Yeah, so prior to um, this position or this role with the organization, I was the sales manager for the corporate association market. So my goal historically has been to bring in anything from a home care alliance event to fulfilling the bids for the political conventions that come into the area. Um, so, you know, there's really, it's a great market for events in Central Mass. We've got a 100,000 square foot convention center, beautiful historical properties, and, you know, lots of new hotels coming into the market. Right, and, and you know, speaking of conventions, both uh, our Republican and Democratic friends were in, in Worcester yeah. in the region and, and rave reviews by all accounts. Yeah, I heard nothing but, you know, positive um, feedback, which is wonderful. And, I mean, what's not to love? There's so much happening right now in the downtown area that, you know, there's, there's just a new fun vibe going on that I think meeting planners really enjoy and event attendees. And so it's an opportunity, and, and you mentioned some of the facilities, certain the DCU Center and the Convention Center, but... Uh, it's using all of some of the regional's facilities, whether it be for events, and you know, there's lots of trade associations that have annual meetings. Why not Worcester? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, na nation, you know, national ones or regional ones, and so you're out making that case. The sporting events, mm -hmm. there are tons of you know, youth sports and adult sports that have competitions and events, yep. and they're looking for locations. And so, yes, it's the hotel rooms. Yes, it's kind of the bigger venues. But they're also looking kind of for an experience, sure. the restaurants, in between games, places to go, things like that. Yep, absolutely. Planners, everyone wants a unique experience. They want not only their attendees to have great facilities, but they want them to go out and explore the community, to try out, you know, dining. They also want to pull in this whole kind of experiential wave of hands-on activities, whether that's a pasta making class or going out and doing something, you know, with macrame and team building, doing... Um, more community-oriented events, so that that even hang gliding, hang gliding, <laughs> absolutely. Katie in our office went hang gliding yesterday um, with Hang Glide New England. So you can do a lot here. It's a great fun footprint in the state, and you know we've got great convenience and accessibility, and you know a lot to offer. And and kind of the best of both worlds in some way. You know, Worcester, second largest city in New England, a lot to offer and a major focus of what Discover Central Massachusetts is about. But you know, you go a town or two outside of Worcester. You know, more rural venues, kind of sure. farms, working farms, places that, that host events too. So you yeah. kind of get a uh, lot got, you can market. Yeah, we have a dream footprint. I mean, you can go 20 minutes and, you know, go skiing. You can host an event on a beautiful farm in the Brookfield. You can go to Salem Cross Inn or the public house and stay in a historical property and be surrounded by serene gardens. Um, so it is a really diverse footprint. There's something for anyone, any enthusiast to love, whether it's hiking or whether it's fine dining in this market. You know, and, and this is something where, you know, we at the Chamber and, and Discover Central Mass is a separate board, separate organization, but obviously we, we work together and try to find efficiencies and things. But, you know, for, for our viewers, you know, people who might be out there working uh, or part of a volunteer group or association or a national group or regional group, they're always hosting meetings in places. So this yeah. is, a, uh, so our viewers out there, yep. if they've got, if they're anything that organization they're involved with, they may be looking to host meetings and places, and that's where you can be a resource as well. Yeah, they can call us anytime. We're absolutely happy to be a resource. We're no co no cost, um, almost expert in the event field here. So whether you're planning a, a meeting for 20 people or a conference, 150 to 
you know, 2,000 attendees, we're able to be that middleman between all of the event venues, all of the service partners in the event community, and to help streamline all of the proposal process. I mean, we're busy, and a lot of times them, the representatives from companies who are planning events have a lot on their plate to juggle, so we're here to make that experience as pleasant as possible so that they want to not only host an event one time, but come back year after year. And an example of that, I mean, we were at a chamber meeting several years ago and made the pitch, if you are part of a, an association or a trade group, we'd like to, Worcester would like to compete or the region would like to yep. compete. And Howard Peterson, who Peterson uh, Energy and Oil came up and the Fuel Institute is coming. Yep. Northeast Fuel Institute. Northeast Fuel Institute has come a number of times now. Yeah, absolutely. We, once we have planners come into this market, they come back year after year. I mean, we have professionals all around and as the community you can see the, the development that's happening in the city and they want to be part of that momentum so everyone you know we get calls all the time of what's going on now tell me about the beer garden that I just heard about tell me about that new AC Marriott hotel that just came right. in so there's a lot of intrigue here and it's nice that can, people can continue to grow and try new things as they further explore the area yeah and that's something that both organizations are doing we're trying to bring new businesses in and, mm -hmm. and but part of that is you know, people who haven't maybe been to central Massachusetts in a long time or, or to Worcester coming in saying, wow, things have really, you know, yep. changed and evolved. We want to be a part of it or bring people in. And if they leave with a positive experience, uh, we've done our job. Absolutely. I tell planners, if you haven't been to Worcester in the last you know, three years, even two years, you just haven't been to the city of Worcester. And they come and we'll talk about powwow and the, the um, art that's happening and the installations in the community. And they'll talk to business owners that are, you know, even um, Frank from Brew and talk about, you know, why are you investing here? And they learn so much about what's happening and can feel that passion that it's not just about the venue and it's not just about having the facilities. It's, it's being part of something bigger and planners sense that and they want to take part in that. And, um, you know, part of the economic impact, you know, one way to measure that is hotels and people mm -hmm. staying over and, and the region's done pretty well. Yeah, actually, our hotel occupancy is fantastic. We're trending, um, you know, well over 70 percent. I want to say back in October, we were at 90 percent occupancy, which just speaks volumes for the area here. So that's one of the challenges we have is, you know, finding the opportunities and the time for planners to come in. So definitely, um, we're, we're doing great. And, and just in a couple minutes, and, and this is, uh, you know, I think the economic impact and the exposure uh, is a worthy investment. I think it's important to note that, you know, how Discover Central Mass is funded, it's primarily through the City of Worcester, a recommendation of the City Manager with the support of the City Council and the budget. There's a piece of state funding, mm -hmm. and then you privately go out and raise uh, dollars through membership as we well. We do. We are a membership-based organization, and, you know, a lot of what we do, even through a marketing capacity, um, I think we do a great job of supporting small businesses in the area. So um, I would definitely recommend checking out the website, discovercentralmass.org. It shows some of the exclusive listings that we have for some of the businesses in the community. Event calendar is trending really well. Our social media platforms are doing great. So anything that we can do for these businesses to highlight them and to demonstrate demonstrate to the population, you know, why you want to check this place out, why this is, you know, um, you know worthy of taking your family out and spending a weekend in Worcester um, and the cent in the Central Mass community overall. Um. Well, do that. And, and the, the, a great website, uh, your social media alerts that go out all the time to let people know what's happening, opportunities. Yeah. Follow us on social media. Follow us on Instagram. It is a great medium and platform for us. And, you know, I mean, you can see Katie hang gliding <laughs> and you can check out what's going on with all the trending restaurants. It's so hard to even keep up. There's just so much going on. So I think it's a great resource, not only for general tourists, but also for residents in the area.